hello everyone welcome back to my channel yes so is another video on how to make wet cassava chips yes the bini people call it bobozi and the Igbo people call it abachamiri and so on guys so it's so delicious it's very delicious bobozi is very delicious guys so a very big thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my youtube channel i love you guys so much please if you are new here if you have not subscribed please subscribe subscribe enjoy yourself happy viewing so guys these are my fresh cassava and i'm going to be using my knife to peel it i'm going to be using my knife to put a straight line at the middle and i'll start peeling it So after I finish peeling my cassava, I'm going to be using my knife to remove the black spots on the cassava. And this is how I'm going to be peeling the rest of my cassava. So guys, I'm done peeling my cassava as you can see. So I'm going to be using water to wash it and put it inside my pot and I'm going to be boiling it. So I'm watching my cassava. After washing my cassava, I'm going to be adding it inside my pot. And I'm going to be adding water, warm water. I'm going to be adding warm water to it. So make sure your water cover your cassava. So and I'm going to now I'm going to put in it on on my cooking gas to boil. So here I'm putting my pot on fire. So I'm going to be leaving it to boil. I'm going to cover it and allow it to boil, guys. And after I'll come back. My cassava has started boiling. I'm I'm going to be leaving it for six minutes to boil more, and I'll come back. So guys, this is my cassava after 6 minutes and I'm, it's ready and I'm going to be bringing it out. So guys, my cas cassava is out of, the uh, out of the fire, so I'm going to be removing the water and allow it to cool down a little bit. So guys, after your cassava has cooled down, you can now start using your knife to slice it into your desired shape as you can see on the screen. So this is how I'm going to be slicing the rest of them. I'm done slicing my cassava. I'm going to be adding warm water. Make sure the water cover the cassava. So I'm going to be leaving it overnight. If you make it during the day, you just have to leave it for 24 hours. So I'm going to be leaving mine overnight. And after I'm going to be showing you the outcome. So guys, it's morning already, so I'm going to be showing you my bubble Z. As you can see, this is it. So I'm going to remove the water. So after removing the water, I'm going to... I'm going to be adding another water to it, cold water. And I'll be using my hand to wash it very well. So I'm going to still remove this water and add another water to it and I'll continue to wash it. So this is it. So guys, after washing my bobozi for the second time, I'm going to throw away the water and after my bobozi is ready, so you can eat it for up to two days. So just put it inside a bowl of cold water cover it and put it inside your fridge so that's it guys yes guys my wet cassava chips is ready you can serve it with strong sweet coconut and granite 
so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up click the notification bell for more videos bye bye once again